let's look at the different levels of caching that a website goes through. So let's say you run facebook.com and you want to fetch an image. Let's say it's image.eng. So this is the resource that you're fetching. So let's see how in a typical large scale website, where all would this image be cached? So you have the browser here, which will request this image and the browser has its own cache. So the browser will first check for the image inside its own cache. Now, if that doesn't work, it's going to go up one level and it's typically going to hit the CDN. The CDN has servers distributed all over the world and it tries to cache static resources like images, CSS files, and videos. And CDNs are typically third-party service providers. So they're not hitting your own web servers. They're hitting the servers and data centers of that third-party CDN provider. Let's say the CDN does not have it cached. Well, then it'll hit your data center. Now, typically in your data center, through a load balancer, the request will hit a web server and the web server can query the disk for that data, right? Disk storage, like a database. But before that, it'll check your cache. So there's an object cache here. And often it's a distributed cache, such as Redis, or memcache. And then finally, if the web server doesn't find it in the object cache, it'll go to the disk. That's our last resort. Now there's one piece we've missed here, and that is that often inside your data center and before the request hits your web server, there's often a reverse proxy installed, an HTTP reverse proxy. And what it does is it caches HTTP requests. So to reduce the load on the web server, the reverse proxy checks if that request was served recently. And if it has it in its cache, it returns it back preventing the request from hitting the web server and reducing the load on your web servers. Okay, so we've seen four kinds of caches here. First, inside the browser. Second, CDN. Third, your reverse proxy. And fourth is the object cache that the web server can check. And let's list them down here, okay? So these are our four kinds of cache we hit on the way to fetching a resource, like an image. And all of these are really good to bring up in an interview.